Hey guys, Izzy here with Donny FL. Uh, we got here again the Leshy 2. So in the last video we had, uh, we showed you guys our new attachment piece for it uh, to help reduce the suppression of this. Uh, a lot of you guys requested to do a before and after uh, sound meter test on there. So we actually got the original suppressor that came with it. Uh, we're going to be installing that back on. We're going to do a sound test with that and then we're going to install this again and get another reading off that. Um, oh, excuse me guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started by removing this setup here first. I got to remove a couple of things back here just to make the gun safe. Uh, first thing that I recommend doing, if you guys got the Leshy, is remove the air source. There we go. Remove the air source and the magazine. The magazine was loaded and the gun was unsafe. So you guys that are all safe fanatics out there, I appreciate it. We're trying to be as safe as possible here. All right. So we got the air source off. We got the magazine off. We're safe. Now I'm able to work safely on this air gun. So we're going to go ahead and remove the suppressor off of it. By the way, this is the Donny FL Ronin in 25. Well, it's a 22 25 caliber. This is a 25 caliber Leshy 2. All right, so now to remove this. Sorry, guys, that's loud and annoying, probably. Now we got that off. I'm going to go ahead and remove this back plate here. We'll put that off to the side so when we come back with it we'll reinstall it and do a uh, shot test with that all right so this is the original back plate that goes on the back of this suppressor i'm going to go ahead and put it on it should seat in there if it doesn't go one way it goes the other way so from what it looks like the thinner side is on the bottom the thicker side goes towards the top and then we just slide this over and like I just said, you got this all backwards. There we go. So it does have a very snug fit on this. Uh, so we will go ahead and start tightening down these screws up here. And make sure you go down on them evenly so we get even pressure on both sides as you're going down because it is a very nice tight fit right here. Switch over to the bottom one. And just snug it up slightly. Doesn't need to be over time. There we go. So we got the original suppressor on there. This is a mock suppressor uh, that originally comes on the Ed Gun Leshy 2. Um, for the 250 millimeter barrel. I know the 350 millimeter barrel, uh, it is a little bit longer. There is uh, some baffling in here from what it looks like. I haven't taken it out. Um, it looks like it's pressed in there and it's permanent press in. So I'm not gonna bother taking that out. But I'm gonna get this back together and we'll go out and shoot it. Still on save. Gonna get this magazine back on. Alright. Alright, we're all set. Let's go do some shooting. So today we got two sound meters so we can uh, check the differences so we can get a little more accuracy out of both. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, so far, me talking on both of them, they seem to be a little bit different than the other so we're gonna let's see uh yeah so this one is about 10 decibels higher than this one so we'll see what happens so i'm just gonna go ahead and reset these again and we're gonna do a couple of test shots back there and we'll see what happens
All right, so I got the Lissy 25 caliber here. All right, so let me just turn this on. And I'm just gonna be shooting into the berm that's at about 100 yards away. So we don't get any of the report back from the impact out there. Uh, so it, it'll be just purely report off the gun. So I'm going to take uh, about two shots here. All right. So let's see what our results are. I'm going to talk quieter so we don't change the, the report readings here. One second, guys. So on your guys' left side here, we got 99.3. On the left side, or your guys' right side here is 81.5. So left side, 99.3, right side, 81.5. Um, we're gonna go ahead and reset it again. I'm gonna do another couple of shots just to see what difference is in case there is no, in case there are some variables here. So let me reset it. I'll set it up again and I'll take a couple of other shots, all right? So we're pretty close, so 94.6 on your guys' uh, left side there and 81.1 on your guys' right side there. Um, so pretty consistent, uh, not too far off from the original 99 point, uh, I forget what the last number was, but 99 and 81 on this side. So uh, I would say pretty consistent. So we're going to go ahead, shut these down, and we're going to go get it swapped out again. We're going to get some other readings that will definitely, definitely be quieter than the original stock setup on this uh, Leshy 2. So we'll grab this, we'll head back inside, get it swapped out, and we'll get some shots for you guys. All right, guys, so we got the Ronin installed on there. I'm gonna go ahead and reset these again. They are gonna be reset identically how I had them set in the beginning. So, oh. I'll reset them once I'm done talking because it's taking the readings already. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset them again. They're gonna be set identically as they were before when we first did the first couple of shots with the original moderator on this air gun. So let me reset this and we'll get set up to shoot another couple of shots, all right? That's a big difference. Big Just saying. Difference. So 85.8 on you guys' left side. 79.4 on you guys' uh, right side there. So we're going to go ahead and reset these again. We're going to take another couple of shots downrange. Just so you guys can see the variables on there, all right? Consistent. There we go. So 84.7, you guys' left side, 79.0 on your guys' right side. So you can see how much of a difference it does with uh, the Edgun, was it Edgun Leshy adapter slash ex expansion chamber extender, whatever you guys, whatever you guys want to call it. 
that is the Ronin on there. It is upside down on the gun, but we just want to get this done real quick for you guys. So same gun, same caliber, two different setups, factory setup and Donnie FL setup. So if you guys like what you guys see here, this is available already on our website.